Hey everyone, it's Dion with 91 Cravings, and today we're back with another video. Today we're making Hot Cheetos Fried Chicken Wings. I saw this recipe online. I've actually been seeing it float around quite a bit. So, I wanted to try it out today, and well, let's get to it. Okay, so obviously since we're making fried chicken wings, we're going to need the chicken. And as you can see, I already have mine seasoned with a little salt, pepper, and mustard. And for folks who don't know, mustard for some reason <laughs> it just goes very good with frying chicken it just the flavor be astounding flour oops eggs beaten and the hot cheetos as you can see i already put mine through a processor to uh, crunch them up and this is going to be the coating for the chicken wings. Okay, and so now let's start the process. And like always, as you can see, I'm wearing my gloves, especially since I'm dealing with raw meat. All right, so take a, you take a chicken wing, dredge it in the flour, make sure you coat it good, shake off any excess. coat it in the eggs and then you coat it in the hot Cheetos yeah you see that yeah okay and then sit it on the parchment paper right there You just continue the process. So, like I said, chicken wing, flour, egg, hot Cheetos. Okay, and so now, wow, just look at that. Focus. All right, sit that right there. And so now let me go ahead and skip to the end. Well, not skip to the end, but skip to this process so that I won't take up too much time. Okay. They are all coated now. As you can see, let's let you get a good look at them. Yeah, they're all nicely coated. Okay, and so now let's get to frying. Okay, and so now I already have my grease right here. It's already preheated. Like, please make sure your grease is preheated and it's two temperature and it's at the right temperature. Because if you try to drop in wings, especially coated wings uh, like that, the breading is just going get, to uh, get soggy and fall off before it actually starts to cook. You know, and a simple way to test if your oil is ready, which everyone knows this way. You get a little water and you just... Yeah, that oil is ready. <laughs> and so now, a common mistake you want to avoid is do not sit the wings directly in the basket and then drop it into the oil. What it is, you want to go ahead and put the basket into the oil and then drop the wings into the oil because if you put the wings in the basket and then into the oil, that they're gonna run a chance of sticking to the basket. All right, so. Basket in and wings in. And now take your time putting them in. And as soon as you drop them in, they're frying. So now I'm only going to do a couple at a time because I don't want to overload the basket.
go ahead and add in one more about right here all right yeah i'll do about five at a time all right and now i'll come back once these first few get done okay the wings are pretty much almost done and if you know anything about wings then you know that once they start floating to the top like that that means that they're either close to done or they are done so now let me lift these up oh yeah just look at that look at that let me feel them Ooh, nice and crunchy Sorry about that. I went to go grab a pair of tongs real, real quick. So now, let's take a look at one of these bad boys. Ooh -wee. Looking good already. You know what, and I'm gonna call these. These are done. Let this excess oil drain off a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm going to be honest. One thing I hate seeing is when people take their fried chicken wings and they sit them on paper towels. Honestly, all that's doing is making the bottom side of the chicken wing that you sit on a paper towel soggy. That's why you always sit them on a grill rack like this. So, so while they're cooling off and that excess oil is still dripping off, they stay crunchy. All right, so now just look at that. Don't those look so good? All right, and so now let me go ahead and skip to the end of frying all these wings and I'll get right back to you. Okay, everyone, and they are all done frying. I mean, just look at how good they look. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me uh give y'all a close look at one. Make sure I don't drop this. Come on, focus for me, please. All right, there we go. Just look at how crispy that is. And they are fried to perfection. So now, let's go ahead and, and get to playing them. I'm going to be honest, I cannot wait. Like, I almost want to eat them all up right now, but I'm going to do things the right way. So let's go ahead and plate these up. And there they go. <clears throat> all done. Just look at them. Oh my God. God, I want to dig in right now. But then again, that's what any normal person would do. Here on 901 Cravings, yeah, we're not normal. We're different. Let's add one last touch to them. And that one final ingredient we're adding is that magical nectar, which is this. Oh, yes. Good old. Nacho cheese, baby. <laughs> like I said, I'm very playful. I like to joke around a lot, so excuse me. Just daydreaming about this wonderful, beautiful wings right now. I would say that's enough cheese. So now, let's also take some of our leftover crunched up hot Cheetos and just sprinkle those over. Oh, y'all just don't know how bad I want these. Okay, everyone and there we go hot cheetos fried chicken oh my god they just look so good i just want to dive into them right now which i will right after this video so now 
If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I have a lot of things planned for this channel, you know. I do more than just baking and sweets. Uh, I do food also because I am a chef, and you're going to see a lot of special recipes of mine. So, alright y'all, have a good day, and stay tuned for the next one.